Hello, this is another Squarespace do-it-yourself tutorial, and this one is on how to install an animated count sequence on your Squarespace site. Um, it would behave something like this. Of course, you can set the variables yourself um, and the number. Uh, it's useful for any sort of user stats, um, any sort of number of sequence that you want to add a little extra jazz to. And we're doing this through the countup.js. Uh, uh, made by Inorganic Produce. Um, you notice there are some different variables you can use, but it's an extremely lightweight, um, pretty simple uh, jQuery plugin. So how we're going to go about doing this is the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have jQuery enabled on your um, Squarespace site since it's not something that comes out of the box. So you'll want to go to Settings, Advanced Settings, Code injection. This is going to inject code on every single page of your site in the header. Um, and here's what we want right here. So Squarespace, um, search plugin.js. It is something that they do host on their site. And you want to um, then look for the most current jQuery library through Google um, APIs. And I'm using 2.1.0. Uh, so it's pretty, pretty current. Um, so we know that this plugin works at least on that. Sometimes different plugins will need different versions of jQuery to work. Um, they'll need a minimum. So if you're using an older, um, it won't work or they might be unsupported on new. And you can usually find that in the readme, um, or the license or things like that. Any sort of, you know, variables that you absolutely need to, um, run the plugin. Uh, but this one does work on 2.1.1. So once we have that block of code in there, then we'll go to our site and we want to actually upload the plugin. And I usually have a plugin page. And once we load this, you'll notice I've already loaded in here. And here's an example of how I do that. So we'll create some simple text. It doesn't really matter what it says. And then you want to upload your file. And when you, uh, when you download the plugin for this, it will come in a zip file like that. Unzip it. And this is the only file you need in the entire thing is the count of JS. The rest of it is just a basic copy of the inorganic count of website or web page. So count of JS open to upload. Hit save, and then here's a, here's a key component. You want to make sure that you copy this link address. Um, and you can do that in a couple different ways. You can do it there. You can uh, usually click on it on another page um, and copy it out of the web address or something like that. You can also find it in your files for your Squarespace. Um, but easiest thing, right click, copy link address, save that for a little later. And then you want to, uh, whatever page you want to put this on, you want to go to that and edit that. Oh, actually, we don't want to edit that quite yet. So you want to go to the header of the page that you want the count up to be on. And you can have multiple on a page, doesn't really matter. Um, you can put it on any page. But the important thing we want to do here is go to advanced because this is going to insert um, this plugin on the page we want it on. You also could have done this in the code injection part if you want to use it on multiple different pages. Um, it's good practice as a developer not to insert plugins or not to search for plugins and things on pages where you're not going to need them because it's a slight performance hit. But it's not that big of a deal, especially if you have a smaller site. So you want to basically call the plugin, which you do with script type text JavaScript and src equals your plugin address. So we just paste that in right there. Um, notice your address is always going to be your website forward slash s forward slash the file name that Squarespace gives it, um, which if you remember when I was uh, just clicking on that file, or actually here we'll do this. So I'll show you. This is the alternate way to get the file name. 
plugin. So if we click here, and it's going to give me the file name right there. So that's another way to get the file name if you uh, don't want to right click on it like I did before. Uh, so basically you get the file name, post it in there, make sure you have your root website. If you've mapped a custom domain to this, make sure you're using the whatever your website dot squarespace.com is because that's the most absolute path to their your part of their server. Forward S um, and then that whatever your file name is. So that's got to go in the head. Very important. The plugin won't work without it. Um, and then after that, you come and you build your actual code block on the page. And we'll give you an example of that. So a couple of important things. You want to have some sort of element that has an ID. Um, actually, we'll build this from scratch. Let's see. Let's see it. So go down, code. And you want some sort of element that has an ID. Doesn't matter what the ID is, doesn't matter what the element is, um, as long as it's got an ID, that'll be fine. Notice that this won't work with a class. If I had class equals demo, the plugin will not work. It has to be um, a, a regular ID. And then. Next thing you'll do is actually build the counter. So you want script. And this can go at the end, absolute end of your, your page. Some people like to do that. They like to put all of their scripts down below. As long as it's below the ID um, of the element that you want to count, uh, you're good to go. So you want to set up some variables here. Um, the first one. If you want to use um, some of the options that they come up with on uh, this counter, like use easing, use grouping, um, have a separator for uh, numbers that are bigger that are in the thousands, you can separate them there. If you're doing decimal points, um, notice here you can set we want to count yes decimal points or whatever if you're counting seconds or whatever, um, you can set the decimal there. If you want a prefix or a suffix on your number, um, all of these options can be defined here. I'm actually not going to use any of them, um, although you can. Well, actually, we'll put them in there just to show you. So I would just copy and paste, put the variable options using all of this. We don't want a prefix or a suffix. Um, Separator is fine. I'm not going to use decimals on this one. Grouping use that that's fine easing good to go and then we'll actually make our counter so variable um, the variable can be whatever you want it to be it's just a name that you'll call later equals new count up this syntax is important capital C capital U um, that's the function they've defined to actually call the count and this part right here is important as well. This has to be the same as this ID. Um, normally you would put in, in most, most functions, you would put in an ID tag, but on this one you do not. So here, oh, this is the first number you're starting at. This is the number you're ending on. And then you've got um, some other variables as you notice here you've got um, decimals and duration so we don't want to use decimals we want it to take um, four seconds oh, and we want to use the options above so we can call this variable anything we want it just basically loads up all of this stuff and then we would use whatever we called it down here. And with your tag. And then, so we've got the variable that does the actual counting. The next thing that we want to do is set up what's going to call the count. So we do something on window load Oops. function. 
So that's going to load the count on the window. At least it is if I type it out right. Um, we could also do something on click, and then when you clicked, something would count. Um, doesn't really matter what you're loading it on. You just gotta let the plugin know when to load. And then here's where you put in your count demo um, or your count variable. Tell it to start, and that's pretty much all it takes to get the counter running. Um, just make sure that this variable matches this. This is count up, and you've used the main count up file um, that I showed you earlier. This one right here. Make sure you're using that one when you load it up. Make sure demo matches whatever the ID um, of your holder is, and it'll insert that count up numbers right here, starting from zero, going to a thousand, since that's what I put. So if you wanted to make it bigger, um, you can put an H1 on there. I'll make it that size. You can go H2, H3. You can style the div um, based off the demo. You can kind of do whatever you want to the numbers. This is just going to tell the numbers what to do. So I hit apply, save, and test it out. And there we go. So that is our count. Again, just using uh, countout.js. Make sure you've got your variables set the way you want to go. So I'm doing all that. Count demo, 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 apply, and you've got a counter.